Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap and in today's video I'm going to teach you how you can create this type of nav bar in your react.js application we will use material UI to build this navigation and we will use a very easy method everything we will found a built-in just you need to learn how to use this code in your application okay so if you can see this is a uh, fully responsive on mobile devices your nav bar will look like this and obviously you will have some icons some menu items and further you will have sub menus so we are going to create this type of navigation menu without too much effort so video is going to be more important and if you will watch this video you will also learn how you can use other components of material ui in your react.js applications so will you will able to create different components in your react application without any special effort so without any delay let's start okay friends first of all you can see that i have created a new react chess project using wheat next simply i will open my browser and search here material ui you need to open this website website name is mui.com i will open this and from here first of all we need to install the material UI in our react.js project so what you can do you can simply click on get started and then you will see installation option here just click on this and I am using npm so I will use this command if you are using yarn or maybe this package so you can use uh, these commands uh, in my case I am using npm so I will simply click on it because if you can see for yarn it have different command so I will click on npm or I can click on this copy to copy this command and uh, next I will open the built-in terminal in my visual studio code okay here I will simply paste this and press enter so material UI is installing basically to my react.js project it is showing me that up to date because material UI was already installed but in your case uh, it will be installed by implementing or by executing this command next before uh, moving anywhere you need to type here material UI icons we also need to install material UI icons because our navbar will contain some icons so simply if you can see these are all the material ui icons and if i scroll up here i have this command npm install and mui icons material so i will simply copy this command again i will copy the npm command open the visual studio code click here and paste my command and now i will press enter so basically this will install the material ui icons in your project so we have done two, two things the first is we have installed material UI library and uh, or material UI and the second we have installed material UI icons now I will show you how you can create a nav bar so simply again I will go to material UI website and here I can search for nav bar I will press enter and here you can see that I have these uh, different type of nav bars available to me so suppose suppose I want to create this type of navigation menu okay so simply I will click on this icon copy the source and in my project inside the source folder I have already created no 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 I need to create here so first of all I will create a fo uh, folder name components inside this I will create a new component like let me call this I would like to give the same name so basically our component name is primary search app bar so simply in our components folder that we have created I will create a new file primary search app bar dot tsx okay and uh, simply I will cut this code that we have copied from here from our this website so I have pasted all this code here and now I will go to app.tsx and here we need to import this navbar component so simply I will type import primary search app bar and I will remove this heading from here and I will paste here okay so now I will run my application maybe we will see some errors uh, we need to fix that npm run dev 
okay so friends uh, you can see that without any error the navigation menu have been created successfully uh, to my application you can see that and if I click if I want to see this on mobile devices so our menu will look like uh, this okay okay you can see that uh, so friends yes you can create the navigation menu by using custom code but uh, if someone already have built this for us then I believe we should use these uh, pre-built templates and focus to learn more important things so I hope that this video will be helpful for you before ending this video I want to tell you that if you will read this code don't make yourself confused basically this is a very important code for you and very helpful code for you for instance uh, we have this section name profile on our navbar okay so if you can see they have already set an on click callback function on this profile menu item so if i click on it so you can see that they have already created a function <coughs> let me click here console and let me alert here you have or not console.log okay you have clicked the profile okay and now simply <coughs> let me show you the console and in our console if i will click on profile so you can see that you have clicked the profile so basically if you will explore this code you will find helpful a uh, callback functions these functions will help you uh, will trigger on specific events so you can explore them and use this navigation menu in your website so obviously a little bit react expert is required you should be understand that how components work uh, what are react how react states work so if you have this type of guidance then this is not a big deal for you to understand this code so friends i hope that this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching